and a big hit. So if you sold or think about selling your 40 series card, don't. Or if you have like a 4060, I would upgrade it to like a 4080 or 4090, depending on what you need. But for now, uh, we'll just go over a few things. And that is my notepad. So we'll go over a notepad here. Just a little bit about PhysX, some history about it. So PhysX is a, it's, it's PhysX, it's basically what it is, it says. So PhysX is a physics simulation engine that enhances gaming by enabling effects like cloth simulation, ragdoll physics, and volumetric fluids. NVIDIA enabled PhysX hardware acceleration on its GeForce graphics cards. NVIDIA made the source code from PhysX available on GitHub in 2025. NVIDIA has integrated PhysX into many games, including Batman Arkham, Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Metro, Mirror's Edge, and The Witcher 3. NVIDIA has also used PhysX in robotics, anonymous vehicles, and VFX workflows. Alright, so where did it come from? Well... It was made by IGEA in 2004. It was uh, acquired by Novex AG and began developing a hardware technology that could accelerate physics calculations, aiding the CPU. It's a GPU accelerated hardware technology. So uh, instead of the CPU doing it, it would take the load off the CPU and the GPU would do it itself, which is a lot better than the CPU doing it. Um, just takes the load off CPU basically and GPU is a lot faster. Uh, so yeah, aiding the CPU, AGEA called the technology PhysX. The SDK was renamed from Novadex to PhysX and the accelerator cards were dubbed PPUs, physics processing units. So PhysX uh, PPU stands for physics processing units. Uh, Novadex AG, Novadex developed a physics engine for the gaming industry so Novadex ag is a company uh for the gaming industry the spin-off was acquired with all of its software developments and personal uh, personnel by the fabulous uh semiconductor company called agia which is agia bought it out in 2004 uh, for an undeclosed amount so they didn't say how much they actually sold it for but they did sell it. The software development kit created by Novadex was used as a basis for the Aegea PhysX PPU card. With PhysX, Aegea became uh, an in industry leader in gaming physics technology and was in turn acquired by NVIDIA in February 2008. So 2008, NVIDIA bought it. Um, Nova, so Aegea here in 2004 was working on it and then it was released in 2005. So in three years... The video is like, huh. looking at it, it's like, ah, we, we probably use this in our GPUs. And three years later, boom. As of 27, the, uh, 2017, the operations remained in Zurich. So that's what I got on that. So what does it do? Well, I have a little test here we're going to show. And I'm going to show this test it's a physics fluid mark if it's fluid mark it's a fluids test physics test and i'm going to do cpu first so what we can see up in the actual top left corner there uh the frames uh it's supposed to be 12,000 particles so go, uh, 120,000 particles it's going to go up to that and then we'll see somewhere around 34 right now 33 frames per second on this test and this is with cpu doing the physics and the cpu is at 13900k it's not on stock settings the cpu is at 5.6 gigahertz on eight core 16 threads so it could perform a little bit better with the actual e cores enabled but it is overclocked to 5.6 gigahertz on all core and we're getting yeah 33 frames per second not great. Not great at all. So, that is that test there. What I'll do is uh, I'm going to show you GPU side now. 
So physics with GPU applied. Again, top left corner there, you'll see the frames. They'll have a max, but then they'll steady out once we hit uh, 120,000 particles. And we're right around 92, 93, 90, 92, 93 frames per second. So three times faster than CPU physics. This is a 3070 Ti, but it's just, it, that really doesn't matter about it. It's the physics portion of it that's actually helping. Now, generally in games, and we'll show a game here. We will show a game here. And we're going to see the ragdoll effects on this and show what really happens if, let's say, PhysX is not working. You see how the person just flew? Boom. Yeah, from over there to over there for no reason at all. And that's due to the fact there was a bug in CS2. And that's more or less the PhysX engine or PhysX is not working properly on this game. And instead of the person dropping like they should be or just falling over or putting some sort of physics into it to where the person gets blown back a bit, the person gets shot forward for no reason whatsoever at 100 miles an hour. Pretty sure that was the only one on this one. Okay, yeah. See? As you can see there, that's not real world type physics there. That's just a bug of some sort where physics was not working proper. So we're going to Reddit here. And in alphabetical order, they have it. A game called 7554. Alice, Madness Returns, Armageddon Riders, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, <clears throat> Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, Batman Arkham Origins, Blur, Borderlands 2, Continent of the Ninth, C9, Crazy Madness, uh, Cryostasis, Sleep of Reason, Dark Void, Darkest of Days, Deep Black, Deep Hunter, uh, Gas Guzzlers, Combat Carnage, Hot Dance Party, Hot Do Dance Party 2, Hydrophobia Pro uh, Prophecy, Jinzia 3, I'm sorry, probably butchered that one there, Mafia 2, Mars Warlogs, Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, Mirror's Edge, Monsters, Monster Madness, Battle for Suburbia, M Star, Passion Leads Army, QQ Dance, QQ Dance 2, Rise of the Triad, Sacred 2 Fallen, Sacred 2, Ice and Blood, Shattered Horizon, Star Trek, Star Trek DAC, The Bureau XCOM Declassified, The Secret World, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, Advanced Warfighter 2, Unreal Tournament 3, Warmagonder, Operation Downtown Destruction. Now, all of these games that I just listed will not run properly on. 50 series card as there would be no more physics um, at all in the 50 series cards. The NVIDIA is completely getting rid of it on the 50 series cards. So any of the physics that is being uh, rendered basically is going to be all on CPU. Now there was someone that did a video about Borderlands 2 and Witcher 3 and the performance looks great all like great all he's had a 50 series car he used a 5080 and a 9800 x3d uh starting off well you know 400 500 frames looks really good as soon as he broke a piece of glass frames went down to almost seven frames per second it did hit a low of seven frames per second and this is an older game it's not like it's a new game at all 5080 should run this game no problem but due to the fact that phys x is being uh only being used for uh well put onto the cpu it just completely killed the performance no performance whatsoever and as soon as like grenades went and there's more like um physic 
you know, physical type movements in that, uh, sharp edges going into a spot or being like pieces of glass, like I said, being broken, it completely destroys the performance. All the, all the processing will be put onto the CPU. The CPU only has to do enough as is. And then once you put that onto the CPU as well, the performance just goes to crap basically. And all these games here are being affected. And there's a lot of games. A lot of games being affected. And if you do are thinking about getting a 50 series card, well, guess what? Performance is going to be crap on these games. No matter what. You, there's no no matter what. Even if you have top-of-the-line CPU, the performance is not going to be good. A 1080 Ti will outperform a 5090, basically, in these games. A 9... 80 Ti will outperform a 5090 in these games. Something that's from 12 years ago, basically, will be outperforming 5090 in these games, which is brutal. It's absolutely brutal to see that they're doing that. <clears throat> they're thinking on it. Well, there's no really any thinking about it, basically. They're saying it's no longer. Uh, a need more or less for the newer games but any of these older games that a lot of people play like people still play these back in, uh batman games like arkham asylum people love these games uh assassin's creed um uh unreal tournament 3 people like that game a lot too uh, Tom Clancy's uh, I know Ghost Recon was a good one I'm not sure about the Advanced Warfighter 2 but uh, a lot of people play that as well. And uh, don't get a 50 series card if you still play these games or want to. Or if you do get a 50 series card, don't sell your old GPU. As if you want to play these games, like you can still put the graphics cards together. Let's say you got a 5090 or 5080 or 5070 Ti or something. Um, you can still use the other GPU in like another PCIe slot basically and it will use the physics off of that card and it will still run on the 5090 it's just going to use the physics off of the other card so you still get the performance that you're looking for out of the graphics card but basically you still need to save an older graphics card doesn't matter really what it's from like i said 980 ti will perform just fine in these games as well because it's only using the physics uh engine basically it's only using the physics uh hardware accelerator and it's going to use the 5090 and the uh, 9000X3D or whatever CPU you're looking at. 13900K, 14900K, 5800X3D, uh, whatever CPU you're thinking about. It'll still run on those just fine. And it's actually going to use the PhysX that's built into the game platform. So you're still going to get the performance you're looking for. And it's for the 32-bit. The 32-bit PhysX is no longer around unfortunately and now this is with a uh, phys x on the gpu again it'll probably go down to about 92 frames 93 right around there might hit a low of 90 but generally uh right around 90 there'll be some peaks but And again, this test is called uh, Fluid Mark. If you'd like to try this out, if you have a 50 series card, let me know. Uh, you can, like I said, download this from uh, Geeks uh, 3D. It's Fluid Mark. It's by Geeks 3D, and it is a physics test. So I'll let you know the performance of your uh, 5090 or 5080, and it's uh, not going to be good. Because again, all all of the physics is going to be done on the CPU side. Oh, that was a pretty cool test, though. And what you can do with this as well is, um, I know it might be kind of hard for people to see. I'm not sure how to crop another screen to make this a bit bigger, but the particles you can put from 120,000, you, you can add more particles and um, lessen the particles as well to show performance as well. Like if you want to put more, just stress it out more. If you want less, to give less stress. But yeah. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about uh, NVIDIA getting rid of PhysX. Do you play any games that I listed below? 
um, just let me know in the comment section below are you thinking about getting a 50 series card if you do get a 50 series card are you going to be keeping your older graphics card so that way you still can play older games such as the ones that i mentioned earlier as always thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to get her done